Hello, everybody. Just wanted to introduce uh, marketing so everyone would have an idea as to um, what it is and how it can help your business to move forward. So, so the, um, this is a, a, a quote, the entrepreneur all too frequently tends to forget that marketing is key to the success of most businesses. And this is by author Lipper III. So what is marketing? Marketing is the way which a business communicates to and with its target audience to convey the value of and ultimately sell its products and services. So this is key and we'll go into more detail of this later. Uh, my name is Rebecca Jones. I'm sorry if I did not do that. And I am a part of Rebecca Brand Share. Four steps to successful marketing. Um, the first one is identify your target market. Uh, two, craft a compelling message. Three, deliver that message. And four, monitor, improve, and repeat. So we're going to go into each of these separately. So the first one, identify your target market. So what we've, I've learned is um, the 80-20 rule is a common rule of thumb in business. So it states that 80% of your total sales will come from 20% of your customers. Now, what does that mean? That means if you can define and describe the 20%, that makes up your 80% of your sales, I, then ideally, likely you have to find your customers, your ideal market. Um, customers that you are most likely to buy from, from you, and that will mean the most to your business. So again, we focus on just that 20%. Number two, craft a compelling message. So this one, sorry, I have to just move this over down a little bit, sorry. Um, what, would, what, what would really attract your potential customers to your product or service is something that businesses, entrepreneurs have to think about. So A, we need to get their attention. So that's simply be creative and we all have our own individuality and our creativity in us. B, we need to focus on the benefits and keep it simple, which a lot of entrepreneurs forget to do. They want to, you know, make it complicated somehow. So keeping it simple is what is the reason someone will buy your product or service? And then why would someone want to buy your product or service from you? Those are all important things to think about. And then see the call to action. A lot of entrepreneurs forget to make it compelling, which in an example I put here, supplies are limited. Call now. We don't tell the customers what to do. So we need to tell them, call now, press the button, whatever it is, make it compelling so they can make an action. Number three, deliver the message. So what this simply is, we find a way to get the message out in a way that is affordable and keyword affordable and effective. So A says we need to be brilliant, and that all of us in entrepreneur mindset, we have our own, again, creativity, our brand, we're brilliant, but we have to sit down and think about how to get people to talk about your business in a creative, strategic, focused, and cost-effective way. There's that word again, cost-effective way. B, we need to use various methods. So your target market needs to hear your message more than once and through multiple methods. C, we need to use good timing and repetition. So messages need to be delivered more than five times before it yields results. Something to think about. D, create a budget and a schedule plan. So we think about which messages will be sent, when they will be sent, through which medium they will be sent, and how much will they cost. These are the three, the four areas for del delivering the message. Number four, monitor, improve, and repeat. 
you should always be watching to learn what messages worked. Um, number two here says, which methods reached the right people? Number three, which methods were most cost effective? And number four, always be looking for new marketing ideas and strategies, or strategies. So I put a little note down here that says some marketing methods will work really well for a period of time and then slowly lose its effectiveness. So the opposite may happen in other situations. Um, so I say we pay attention to marketing and make regular adjustments to our marketing um, ideas and or strategies. I put down the four P's, the four P's, which is important. Product, price, promotion, and placement. So for product or service, we have to think, what are we selling? What would customers want? Why would customers want it? How is it different and or better than what is offered by your com competition? I put a little note here. What are the benefits to the customers that makes them buy from you? That's the key point. What will make them buy from you? Um, the next one, price. How will you price it? Who will, who will that price attract? How will it stimulate action? A key note down here is don't lessen your price just to be lower than your competitors. Stick to your value because people are going to buy from you, your personality, your brand, who you are. And that's who it is. That's what it is. And if you feel that this is valuable to you, keep it at that price. Let me move this up. Sorry, you guys. Okay, the next one, promotion. Let me see if I can go down a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's not letting me go down. Can you guys see five and six on your screen? On promotion, one, two, three, four, I have six of them. Can you see those? No, there's three. You can't see you can't see the fourth one? No. Okay. So we'll just do with the three. Um, the first one, promotion, this, these are three of ideas for promotion. Advertising, number one. So that's commercial, radio, print media, billboards, et cetera. Uh, number two, publicity, getting your getting the press to cover your business. And there are some inexpensive ways to do that. Um, three, public relations. So that's sponsorships. Um, we can go to exhibitions, conferencing, different things to get our um, business promoted that way. I have on here four, it has to do with sales promotions, but that's only short term to be used, only if we need immediate sales. And number, the, four, the fourth P is gonna be placement. And so that is, sorry, moving this around. Placement, you want to place your product and service in front of your target market when they need you. Keyword, when they need you. So you get the product or service in all the places where people are likely to buy it. We have to identify where are those places, where are those people? So that way they can buy our product or service. Marketing methods to utilize. All four of the P's, need to be used together for the marketing to work successfully. So you need to choose a target market and accept that some people are just not meant to be your customers and that's okay. You identify the 20% and that's what we focus on. And we, we accept that and we move on. My final words are coming from the quote of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. A customer is the most important visitor on our premises. He is not depending on us. We are dependent on him. He is not an interruption in our work. He is the purpose of it. He is not an outsider in our business. He is a part of it. We are not doing him a favor by serving him. He is doing us a favor by giving us an opportunity to do so. So 
Thank you very much for listening to um, this marketing segment. It was short. I have more details. If you have any questions, please call me, email me.